Well, we made it through another start to finish process. This piece was actually commissioned, uh, and I was um, needed to make it for a wedding gift. And I was just given two things that needed to be on this particular gift. Um, she wanted in the colors of burgundies because the bride liked burgundies, and she also wanted a Bible scripture on them, whatever scripture I chose to put on there. Um, so I had found this heart, it's been a couple of years ago, it's a wooden heart, I got it at Michael's uh, on clearance after Valentine's Day, it's been in my stash forever, um, and I was actually, I think last month, looking for something to do for a design team project, and I came across this heart, and I set it aside, I didn't want to do with it, but I'm like, hey, I kind of want to work with that, and then when um, this friend of mine came up to me and asked me, hey, can you make this piece for a wedding gift, I'm like, I know what I'm going to do with that heart. So this is what I came up with. This project, believe it or not, I don't know what it was. Um, being honest with you, I don't know if I didn't have the mojo <laughs> or um, I just I just couldn't get my act together on it. I hope it looks good. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with it, uh, you know, because I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, tell me if it's pretty. I, I just, I, I, like I said, I have a love hate relationship with it. Um, and I know it wasn't the colors. The colors are beautiful. I just, just couldn't get my design together. And I just kind of knew a couple of elements I wanted to do. And boy, did I fiddle with it and fiddle with it and fiddle with it. I walked away. I feel, you know, a day or so. And I worked with it for a couple hours, walked away. Another day worked with it for a couple hours, walked away. I just kept having the, you know, I'd walk back in an hour later and I'd look at it with fresh eyes. And I'm like, nope. And I walked back out of the room. Um, but this is kind of just, this is how it ended up. Um, I didn't want to do a whole lot to the heart itself because I liked how the texture was on it. I didn't really want to cover that up. I almost didn't put any kind of paper on it at all, um, but since I was kind of stacking along this side, I decided to just go with some little strips of paper, and you saw me pull out some Blue Fern Studios uh, paper for the little strips, and it's the 12 by 12 Remnants collection. Renee does have that in her shop, and the other is just from an old Blue Fern Studios collection, uh, Timeless, and that was just out of my stash that I used just kind of on this main piece right here. Um, so let me just bring this up really quick. I didn't need to paint it. I was lucky because it already had like burgundy, you know, it was like a cross between burgundies and reds. So I just kind of went with those colors and it worked perfectly, you know, with Renee Bouquet burgundy flowers. And then she had this beautiful, uh, um, board this printed board it's a trellis rose open frame and that was just the nice right colors of red to go with this so those um, red and burgundy again tied in um, with this piece and so you can see there or hear the texture it's almost like corrugated cardboard it's really cool there see it so I love that I wanted to leave that and I love how you know the heart was split you know, into four pieces, the four different panels. So I just didn't really want to touch it. Okay. I'll shut up for a minute and bring it up a little bit closer. You know, actually, I don't know why I always try to bring it up to my camera. The light's down here. Um, I'll leave it down where the light is and then bring my camera to it, right? That'll help a little bit. A lot of fun, beautiful Rene Bouquet product on here. It just made this project come together. Hopefully, pretty. I really hope she likes it. Like I just struggled with it, but I hope you guys like it too. I hope it gives you some inspiration. I layered it up really nicely. There's lots of you see how it lots of layers, and you saw me layering up this main piece with the blessed on it. I cut up some uh, black cardboard. Um, and I layered about eight or nine pieces. That's how thick that is in there um, to really give it that depth. I'll turn it this way so you can see as well. Just to really give it some depth, really bring it up off so that she could hang it if she wanted. 
Um, it would fit nicely too in a like easel as well. So let's start over on this left side. Like I said, you saw me add the little strips of paper. I'll turn it this way so you can see the little strips of the remnants paper, a little bit of the black going on there. And then I laid down just a black oval frame that I had in my stash. Mainly not so that you could so much see it, but more so that I have something to layer up on. So I knew hardly, I mean, you see a tiny bit in here. I knew not hardly any would show, but I just wanted that to layer it, to bring it up because I knew that this would come up quite a bit as I wanted it to. Um, so I needed something to just kind of have to layer underneath. Um, and then on top of that, I layered a uh, Renee Bouquet beautiful board piece. This is an elements piece. It's called the grid elements. They come in... Uh, I should have got it all out. This is what it looks like. This is the piece I left. You get two um, larger pieces per set. So that's what it looks like. I love these because so easy to cut up and just tuck in and around. And then I had a chipboard piece here, a Prima chipboard piece out of my stash. I just tucked in there. And then on top of that, this is a, a beautiful board from Enable K's. It's lacy heart frames, and they come in a set of four. Now I cut off just a little smidgen of it so that the frame would lay on top of it nice and flat so that it wouldn't be real rocky. Um, but like I said, these are a set of four. I have used them before. I love them. Um, so that's the medium piece. There's actually a really, ooh, I've got it right over here. Large piece. So this is the larger piece. Really gigantic, right? And then this is the next size. And then you come down to the next size and then the smallest size. So four in a set. Or you can get them there individually if you just want, you know, like one great big one by themselves. So there's lots of ways to um, get these frames, either in a set or individually. Okay, and then on top of that, I layered a uh, memory hardware frame by Prima, Frank Garcia, and this is the Papil Papillon Blanc. Papil I want to say Papillon, but that's not right. Papillon Blanc. Can't speak French. Sorry, my French-speaking people. Um, I suck at that. Uh, anyway, I love the resin frames. You guys know I don't pretty much almost use one on every project so I turned it sideways um, and then on top of that I layered a little steampunk um, style majestic butterfly and that is these right here they come in a set of three and they have the holes on them so that you could layer um, beads in them and Renee has the two-tone beads in her uh, store as well that you can layer on top of those and really steampunk them out but I like to just not add the beads I mean the beads are beautiful um, but I like it like that because it just looks so kind of wispy and airy and light kind of elegant looking even though it's a steampunk um, but it just added just a little bit right there in the back um, and then you saw me this uh, board that's kind of the main focus of the whole piece. You saw me at the very beginning take it off. It was like a little sign wired onto the main heart. I took that right off. I was going to rewire it back on, but I decided I didn't want to do that because I had layered so much already and it would look stupid with the wire clear down here and the sign, you know, 10 inches up off the board. Um, and so that's on top of that is where I used my Blue Fern Studios Timeless Paper. And all my papers, even the little strips, I sewed around them with my sewing machine and distressed the edges with the Prima Distress tool. And then I printed out the Bible uh, scripture on a transparency. And then I showed you just how I used a spray adhesive. When I am using transparency and I'm putting them onto the paper themselves, I like to use a spray adhesive. Doesn't matter what brand you have. I've used one from Dollar Tree before. I've used the Elmer's that I showed in the start to finish. And what I do is actually spray the paper first that I'm going to hook it to. Don't spray it on the transparency. It'll make your transparency really dotty, you know, speckled with the glue. Um, spray the paper first, and then you have about 15 seconds to get your transparency on there. And once you start laying it down, it better be the spot you lay it in because it sets up really quick. But within 15 seconds, you get a nice permanent bond. Okay, and so I laid that on top, and the quote... Um, is from Matthew 18:20. It says, "For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them." And so I thought that was just really pretty, you know. Um, 
I thought it would be nice just always a reminder to them that God is in the midst of them and in the midst of their marriage. I know that so we're two or three and there's two of them. <laughs> but I just thought that was kind of real pretty um, to add there. Um, and then on top of that, this is the beautiful... Um, trellis rose open frame I was talking about layer that on it's gorgeous it comes around like I said it's open it's like a c-shape one part of it's like a c-shape and it's got these beautiful vibrant uh, roses there it's got some butterflies on one end um, vines coming up around roses again and a butterfly at the top so I just kind of laid that over the top of that board there you saw me glue this little handle on it this handle I got from uh, it's a package of two uh, from Hobby Lobby um, so I glued that on there, and then this is also a Woodward that I got from Hobby Lobby. I had uh, used Prima Heavy White Gesso, and I pounced it on there. I kind of showed you that in the start to finish. Um, and then I used just a clear uh, glitter spray, not a glitter spray, but a like Lindy Stamp Gang shimmer spray is what I want to say on top of that. So it just gives a little bit of shimmer. Probably can't see it on video, but it's here just really light. And then over on this side, this is just a Prima resin uh, parenthesis uh, out of my stash that I kind of laid on, laid over here. Underneath on the bottom edge of that, this is a chipboard piece from a Prima collection. Couldn't tell you which one, but I just loved it because it had numbers on it and just add a little bit more character to that main piece. Um, and then you saw me kind of layered up on the black chipboard or cardboard pieces up underneath and on this side. And what I did over here on this side is I layered about five or six of the cardboard pieces together. And then I layered the other little piece of this um trellis rose open frame it's a two-piece so you kind of get this c-shape open frame and then you get this other little floral piece that goes with it so you can kind of put that wherever you want so I started layering those cardboard pieces together and then I um, glued in this uh, part of the frame and then I glued the other little pieces on top of that the cardboard pieces and then I stacked it up under this to lift it all up I hope that makes sense okay and then down here I've got a lot of different flowers in here I have a couple of these beautiful ivory chiffon flowers with the pearl and rhinestone centers these come from Renee's shop I've got one here these are my favorite for fabric flowers I've got one here and of course she has them in many many colors and then all the burgundy flowers are from Renee's shop um, it's vintage burgundy and it's the roses and gardenia set a beautiful beautiful deep burgundy I just love those in there and then these other little uh, ivory ones here these mulberry flowers also come from Renee's shop and they are just simply the ivory wild roses gardenias and leaves set okay just real beautiful um, layered that in there and then in the midst of the flowers I kind of had this little wooden prima frame I kind of tucked in there I tucked in some metal flowers from my stash tucked it in here I tucked one in down here and then this is a metal uh, paper clip uh, butterfly from prima I kind of tucked in there as well uh, let's see down here this is a beautiful clock one of the newer clock releases from Renee's shop uh, the beautiful board and it's called the ironwork clock face and my apologies I only have one but it's got a beautiful scroll work design in the center of it with the Roman numerals this is in the small size just simply gorgeous I kind of layered that under there um, just to kind of signify you know time and future present for you know the new married couple so I kind of tucked that in there um, let's see Oh, over here is another uh, beautiful board uh, piece here. This is the Ivy Vine Flourish. It was just gorgeous, and it, and it had just the right angle to just kind of fit right in the point of that heart. And all those vines and scroll work going up, just completely gorgeous. Love it. So I've got that there. Um, and then over here, uh, this is just a um, Heidi Swap-like um transparency kind of word I put in there it says today kind of hard to see on the camera but I added that right there let me put that down for just a second and then um, over on this right side back over here um, right underneath kind of the title the main title I added like a metal filigree from my stash and then I added this beautiful key from Renee Bouquet's and um, 
these are the ornament keys and they come in a set of three and I've got a couple of them right here that's like the medium size there's this very large one they're just gorgeous and then that medium size and then the small one set of three okay and you'll find them like um, one of the areas you'll find them is like under the steampunk stuff okay just gorgeous keys I love them so I've got the medium one down there and then over the top um, I just added this is a Frank Garcia memory hardware just a little um, oh my gosh I forgot what they're called that metal piece Frank Garcia memory hardware forgot what they're called there it is got a little loop looks like a door knocker <laughs> and then I added a little Woodward here noted this is an old Prima Woodward sometimes I just love to add that um, and then to top it off with some other butterflies I've got tiny treasures butterflies here this one is the rose quartz just gorgeous layered right in there and then down here which is real pretty because it kind of is the burgundies and stuff a little bit of the reds on there and then down here in the bottom this one has a deeper red that kind of matches in it and this is called ruby slippers all just adorned gorgeous you can see all that shimmer with the glitter glass that Renee puts on her uh, butterflies all her butterflies are the premium paper that she makes in-house it's not just regular cardstock it's this really thick nice durable thicker than cardstock um, that she prints all her butterflies and everything on and then off camera um, I went ahead and used Prima 3D Matte Gel and I added a ton of Renee Bouquet's Glitter Glass in Diamond Shade, which is basically a clear. I added that um, around the project just to give it a little bit of shimmer and to kind of add in um, to uh, match the butterflies. So I've got it kind of all over and around. So there's my project. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, did I tell you it's about a 10 by 10 size? I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. It's about a 10 by 10 size. Um, I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquets. Okay. There's also will be a new link uh, to the Renee Bouquets lineup, and that is the uh, Renee Bouquets. Uh, Facebook group page. It's called Artist with an Edge. If you'd like to come join this group, just please uh, click on the link and ask for an invite. Um, and it is just a place where you know you can find inspiration and show the artwork that you've created using Renee Bouquet product. We all just are there to support one another and have a good time and just you know admire one another's creations. So if you want to join that, uh, please go right ahead. I also want to let you in on a little um, something here. Um, I'm going to urge you to, if it is convenient for you, to start shopping ReneeBouquets.com. Okay? The Renee Bouquets Etsy site is still open. Um, however, just recently um, Etsy has um, added some new fees on to the shop owners and so because of that Renee has had to um, increase some of her prices she's really sorry about that this is just on the Etsy site okay on the ReneeBouquets.com the prices are still the same none of the uh, prices were increased at all so if it works for you and your convenience we urge you to come on over to the ReneeBouquets.com site to shop now to give you a little bit of um, encouragement to come shop at ReneeBouquets.com there are going to be some new coupons okay we're still got a little bit of time here in the month of July I will put the information down below for you um, but if you put um, for the month of July if you put one beautiful board laser cut chipboard stackable heart border in your cart you'll receive one free and what you need to do is put July coupon all one word all in caps uh, in the coupon section of that um, cart and let me show you what that is that I'm talking about okay I've got some right here it's the beautiful board again the beautiful board stackable heart border and what it is is this is the border piece I should have got my ruler out here really quick measuring in at just a little about eight and a half inches so you have this beautiful board piece and then you get these little hearts 
to go with it. And you get one for every heart that's on here, which is eight hearts. So they're stackable hearts. Okay, if you purchase one of these and put July coupon in the coupon section of your cart, you'll receive one free. Okay, so that's the July coupon. August is coming up. So, um, and also you have to spend $30 or more before shipping. Okay, so spend $30 or more before shipping. Purchase a beautiful board, laser cut chipboard, stackable heart border, and you'll get one free. Okay. Um, for August, spend thirty dollars or more before shipping, and you put uh, you purchase one package of the Renee Bouquet Butterfly Kisses in your style, your choice in your cart. Put coupon code August Free, okay? August Free, um, all caps into the coupon code section. Then you'll get. Um, a set which are a set of 20 the Renee Bouquet butterfly kisses free okay and remember those teeny tiny butterfly kisses I showed you guys there's a, like three sizes and they are super t these are um, different all mixed up so you can choose whichever color that you want there's different sets but they are the teeny tiny butterflies double sided okay all right so I'll have that information down below. So you purchase one set, you get one free by putting August free in the coupon code of your cart at ReneeBouquets.com for August. Okay, so I'll have that information down below. Um, I will also have the links to all the products. I'm going to start doing that for you. The products that I use on my projects for ReneeBouquets.com, I will have the links down below to each product that I use on that particular project okay so those links will be down below and I will also have all the links to my lineup of um, come follow me on Pinterest follow my blog and I also have a new Instagram account um, I will list that link down below for you come follow me there keeping that up all nice and pretty finally join the masses I gave in so follow me on Pinterest my blog and Instagram I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.